is just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. Last week, the Obama administration announced efforts to assist communities who are negatively impacted by changes in the coal industry. In that effort, $1.6 million was awarded to the Mingo County Redevelopment Authority and the Mingo County Public Service District for the Mingo County Air Transportation Park Infrastructure Improvements Project. It's intended to create economic development opportunities in coal-impacted communities. Obviously, Mingo County is one of the most severely coal-impacted counties in southern West Virginia. Currently, we have an unemployment rate of over 13 percent. The project will provide water and sewer to the facility on top of a reclaimed surface mine, which is nearly 500 acres. Our partnership with the coal company, land company, and the Federal Aviation Administration has been a 10-year project in the making. So once construction was completed in 2012, we've been trying to obtain funding for the water and sewer for the infrastructure component. But because that project, as a post-mine land use project, didn't meet traditional funding models, we have been unsuccessful. Now, the Power Initiative grant will allow the Redevelopment Authority to move to the final phase of the project. Job creation is one of the primary criteria of power funding, and we would like to think that the initial construction of the infrastructure project will create anywhere from 30 to 50 jobs, and then in the long term, we anticipate sustainable job creation in industries such as manufacturing to be in the high three, four hundreds. The Mingo County Redevelopment Authority expects the project to be completed within the next three years. Reporting in Varney for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.